I should have probably thought about maybe reapplying some lip product before coming on camera, but I just couldn't bring you guys this vlog, which was recorded before everything went down and not come on and say hi, not come on and say, I'm a fiance. This is the first time I think it'll be the first time me talking to you guys like in person. I'm trying not to like, just not to like not address the elephant in the room or anything. I don't know how to act. I'm like, that doesn't feel, that doesn't feel right seeing that. I'm just going to keep the hand behind because I am going to do a QA. and a Hi everyone, by the way. I am going to do a QA and a about the engagement but it's going to be coming off this video. This video was already planned to go up today and I feel like I can't just bring you guys this vlog, which by the way is not actually, I can't explain it. This vlog was recorded a couple of days before we left for Ibiza and what you're going to see in this vlog is an extremely real, <laughs> I hate to be like, I'm so real, but like it's a very real, realistic day in my life. I'm still going to put it out to you guys because it's absolutely like comedy gold. Some of the comments that you guys are going to pick up on me saying about why we're going to Ibiza, like me stressing about packing for Ibiza because it was such a last minute trip. Like, what I think I'm going to Ibiza for, which legitimately, like, you can even see in this video, like, can't begin to explain, like, how much I was fooled. Fully thought we were going for something completely different. And anyway, I'm not going to talk too much in this intro because I'm going to do a Q&A to explain everything that's happened in the last few days. But I just wanted to come on and say hi. And uh, I'm so excited to catch up with you guys. And we could just, like, talk about everything and have a proper good catch up very soon in my next video after this. I just wanna like come on here and just give a bit of a, I can't explain it, just like pre-warn you for this video because like watching it back, I was like, God, this is like really not my finest side. I spoke about why I believe I was a bit down in the dumps in this vlog, but another reason why I was a bit down in the dumps is because you know, as a woman, I'm sure men get this too, but you know, as a woman, when you have a gut feeling that something is just not right and I could not put my finger on what was going on but Tommy was just not acting himself and I think it was not it was contributing to how I felt in this vlog that something just fell off and I was all over the place guys you know in Bridesmaids where Lillian's like talking to Annie in the cafe about how she feels like she's just not sure what's going on with Dougie and like she's like he calls me dude a lot and the reason why she's feeling like iffy and she's not sure what's going on is because he was about to propose to her if there's any way I could describe how I was feeling that week it was literally that I was like something's going on with Tommy like he doesn't seem himself and like I just couldn't put my finger on it and I think that was contributing to how I felt this day that you're about to see and yeah I don't know I just think like I'm just still gonna put it out because this was like still the build-up to me going away to getting engaged on the on like the, the trip of a lifetime like and I would just want you guys to see it anyway but yeah I feel like this has been the weirdest most rambly intro ever enjoy this very emotionally up and emotional roller coaster of a vlog and I will speak to you guys very soon in my engagement Q&A bye because I got to say so, I'm in love with you, what are we gonna do? So, I'm in love with you, what are we gonna do now? Make me feel loved and treasured, you are water in the desert, my fox, my missing puzzle piece. You make me feel loved, protected. Or we could talk forever on the couch sipping bourbon, please. And in the morning we will start up the French press. I'll be thinking to myself, how did I get so lucky? Your heart is sweet like honey. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. I just turned on the camera and realised how empty my jeans section of my wardrobe is looking at. I had a huge clear out yesterday for Depop and got rid of all my jeans that don't fit me anymore. Bearing in mind that that section was actually completely full yesterday and now all the jeans that don't fit me have been removed. That is what I'm left with. 
actually about half of those jeans I have left are actually maternity jeans. Yes, I am still wearing maternity jeans. That should actually be a life hack, you know. So you've just seen a little bit of mine and Bambi's morning routine, solo morning routine. Tommy has gone to Morecambe this morning for training. He's like kind of at the, well, not at the start of training camp, but he's like getting ready to enter a training camp. So Bambi has gone down for her first nap. As you guys have seen, she had her bottle, she had breakfast, she had granola for breakfast. It's not like um, lumpy granola, it's like pureed granola, but guys, she's literally eating so much stuff. And also this video, because it's gonna be a bit of a day in the life, probably should have said that, I'm gonna do like just film my day to day as much as I can show you. It's probably gonna be like quite heavily baby related like quite a lot of baby content and i've been getting quite a lot of comments recently saying like you know i used to way prefer your content before it was like a lot of baby stuff and that makes me feel like i'm gonna be honest it makes me feel quite sad i mean i actually personally don't think i talk about bambi a lot at all well maybe i do actually <laughs> i don't know i just i never wanted my channel to suddenly become all about being a mum and all about my baby as much as it could very easily be because i could literally just talk about her all day but i mean i really try and consciously remember to keep it the way it was before because that's why you guys were here in the first place i know a lot of you guys actually want to see the baby content and want to see my new life now and the bambi stuff but yeah i try and keep a healthy balance but this video is going to probably be quite heavily baby contentified because i'm doing a realistic day what's with all these hand movements i'm doing a realistic day with me and a realistic day with me is being a mum i'll just show you what i get up to i'll show you a little bit maybe what i eat and um, i've got zoe coming around in a couple of hours because i need to run to the tailor because actually i've got loads to update you on we're actually going away again basically we are actually going to ibiza tomorrow this trip like really was not planned it was it's literally just come out of nowhere. Basically, Tommy and I both got invited to the same event in Ibiza, like a black tie event with Netta Porter. We kind of thought, well, Tommy kind of persuaded me. He was like, let's just go and make another family holiday. I was kind of excited for the concept of having a few weekends at home, just doing nothing, getting Bambi back into her routine. But yeah, now we're going on another family holiday, which I'm so grateful about. It's literally only gonna be like a couple of nights. It means that I have a lot, a lot, a lot to do today. And it's just me here this morning. So I'm just trying to get as much done as possible. I need to pack for Bambi, I need to pack for me. I need to get ready to take Bambi on an airplane. Like it's just, it's a lot, but I'm really, really grateful. Like I say, I'm really happy that we are able to go on another family holiday. And this is gonna be Bambi's fifth country. <laughs> And she's literally only just turning six months. So she's basically doing a country a month at the minute. She's a very, very lucky girl. Normally in this nap that she has, this is her hour nap. This is when I take the opportunity to get myself ready a little bit for the day. Today I'm actually going to have probably a no makeup day. But I'm going to just do a little bit of skincare. My skin just feels really like this morning like really sort of dry and gross but i actually have two products that i have absolutely fallen in love with recently i actually got the recommendation from rachel leary's youtube rachel leary is absolutely my comfort youtuber like she's just my go-to girl for her lengthy like long chatty videos like her chatty get ready with me is like she's just like I just love her content so much. So here we have L'Oreal's Revitalift Clinical Pure Vitamin C Serum. This is 12% vitamin C. This product just leaves my skin looking so glowy and fresh. It also helps with anti-aging, which I spoke about on my Instagram stories. Like, someone actually commented underneath my video the other day, which I didn't take offence to. I actually was like, it was kind of like an awakening moment for me. Um, they were like, oh my gosh, I can see the crow's feet, like wrinkles appearing. And I was like, ah, it's happening. The aging's happening. This product, as you can see already, has just made my skin come alive. It's literally just, it's just giving me that little boost. I've actually just started to take a vitamin C supplement. I've actually just started taking quite a few supplements. Actually, I'm taking a multivitamin now. I'm taking an iron supplement because your girl is tired. She is tired. Um, and I'm taking a vitamin C supplement as well. So yeah, vitamin C for the body and for the skin is just so good. This is L'Oreal's anti-UV fluid SPF. It's SPF 50 plus. 50 plus for this UK sunshine probably a little bit dramatic. This UK summer has been an absolute joke. Like I know we're kind of just getting started. Right now it is the greyest, most miserable, rainy, horrible day. Like it's, especially when you have a baby, days like this when it's meant to be summer are really tricky because like you can't go out for walks, you can't go and sit outside in a little cafe like just to make the time go by a little bit quicker because let me tell you, these baby days, they can be um, monotonous. They can be like living a groundhog day. Like they literally just repeat themselves like I've told you before. This product rubs into my skin so nicely like my skin just absorbs it and what I love about this SPF as well is that it leaves absolutely no white cast I think that's why in the past I used to be apprehensive about wearing SPF because <clears throat> you hear horror stories and you see horror stories of the flashback like you know your face literally goes white and I literally take pictures for my job with this one 
no white cast which is so important for me I feel so moisturized and fresh i feel great actually i'm just gonna pop some brow gel on dry my oh gosh we've got an awake baby do we have an awake baby we shouldn't you've got another 20 minutes yet Mummy's got things to do. I will leave a link down below to the L'Oreal products. You can actually save a third on them at the minute at Boots. I also have a code MOLLY25 that will get you 25% off the vitamin C serum. So I'll leave all the details down below. And thank you so much to L'Oreal for working with me on this part of the video. So the day's starting really well. Bambi is not wanting to have her nap. And I feel like personally my motherhood journey consists of every single day being like, what do I do in this situation? Like, it's just, for me, it's just like full of, every day is like full of unanswered questions where I'm just like, don't know what to do. Like, do I go and get her up? Do I try and let herself settle? I just feel like the reality is, is that every day there's just things that I'm like, I don't know what to do in this situation. And like, sometimes Google can't help. Mummy is not looking cute today. I look like I need some sunshine. Good job for going away. I look the same colour as my hoodie. Um, it's lunchtime, isn't it? It's lunchtime. Say <laughs> Oh, I just love you so much. Mummy loves you so much. When I tell you that this girl is enjoying her food, like literally every single thing that we have tried with weaning, she's at absolutely loved she's already had like salmon we've made like homemade granola and blended it up she's had um she's had like cheese every vegetable all fruits like she's literally got a better diet than me guys literally like she eats everything you're like mommy and daddy you love sleep and food <laughs> sleep and food she's literally just like the same as tommy and i is the camera gonna distract you She's so fascinated by the camera. Over here? Bam Bam? Bambi? Uh, uh, yeah, he's a baby. Uh, he's a baby, buddy. Mm. What do you think, Chiki? I'm gonna just turn the camera off quickly because she's like so fascinated and distracted by the camera. So I'm gonna do lunch and then we'll come back to you guys. Oh, I feel pretty much how I look. Tommy always says to me, right, if he had a pound for every single time I say in a day, I feel sick. He'd be like a billionaire, honestly. Are you even a woman though if you don't constantly feel sick? Is that normal? Anyone else? Anyone else out there? Like any other women? Like I literally always every day just feel like, I don't know, I can't explain it. And no, I am not pregnant. But I still need to tell you about, I mean, there's not much to say, but yeah, I did start a pill last week. If you are an OG on the channel and you've been here a good while, you will know that I've never really got along with the contraceptive pill. I've tried probably about three now. This is probably my fourth that I'm trying now. And oh God, it's just never ever agreed with me. Like it always makes me, a, sub, like, a substantially different type of person like so emotional so grouchy so upset so emotional um and this week i've definitely like it's not been a, a case of i've taken this pill and i've not and i've not felt anything like i've still been feeling all of those things like i felt extra emotional i felt like i've got a really short fuse um and to be honest with you to be quite honest i actually don't really want to be on the contraceptive pill like it's a really tricky one like i would rather just be completely natural like let my periods come when they want to come like just let my body do its thing like not have like personally i would like to not 
use contraception but that's not something i'm promoting because i i'm not looking to have another child at the moment like i'm not looking to have a baby so contraception is absolutely necessary and also there's other options of things that tommy can do also i just thought i'd give the pill one last go um so i'm not going to say which one i'm on because i know everyone will be like oh my god like every single pill that i've been on that i've asked my friends oh has anyone tried this every single one everyone's like don't do it like it's actually like a case of like everyone has something bad to say about every single different pill um but yeah i'm def definitely feeling a bit all over the place this week as you can probably see god i just look like i've literally been dragged through a hedge backward literally running to the tailors to get this jumpsuit for this event in ibiza tailored so zoe has literally just popped in the house now because bambi's down for her long nap so we've got a two hour 45 window of bambi being asleep hopefully um this is like the time in the day where i get my ish done this is like where i literally go hell for leather i've got a meeting with my accountant at two o'clock head off to the tailors now i feel like crying all the time oh, really? it's the pill it's got to be the pill there's literally no other reason for that. Hmm. I'm probably just a bit stressed, a bit overwhelmed. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm back at the house with the YouTuber that everyone loves. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm that lazy that I didn't even have the energy to put my top back on after I tried my jumpsuit on at the tailors. But luckily, they can do it. They're gonna get it done today, so if I find the time, or I might send Tommy back later. But they only take cash payments, so now I need to find time to go to the cash point, get cash out, and go back. Or whilst looking after a child that doesn't want to sleep, she's back awake. I don't know what's going on. I just, I don't know. I'm hoping she'll still settle back up. Anyway, I went to Subway and I got myself some lunch. I know I said I'd probably tell you guys what I've eaten today. So I've had two pieces of toast. And now I'm having a Subway salad. Ooh, that looks really good, actually. Let me see. <gasps> Barbecue sauce. Let and I did get, basically, I, so we was here looking after Bambi, like I said, well, not looking after, just um, child-minding Bambi. <laughs> um, and I had no signal, and I texted Zoe saying, do you want a Subway? Sorry, sorry. Basically, I got Zoe a Subway, and she didn't even want one. I've literally just had breakfast. Okay, okay, but can I go through what I got you? Oh my god, yeah. And you tell me if I got it right. Yeah, okay. So I well, got- I'm putting stories up, but I'm listening. In fact, you say first, if you were to get a salad, okay. I know I haven't got it right because- I think you will have done it. Okay, so I'd get lettuce, tomato, cucumber, loads of sweet corn, loads of pickles, hot tuna, cheese, and barbecue sauce. Ah, oh, I really, I got on. a few bits wrong. Go on. Tuna? Yeah. So that was the meat, that's the main, I got the meat but right. cold, that's fine. I didn't get it hot. No, that's fine. So you got it cold. Oh, oh I yeah, like it sorry. Hot. Yeah, I got it cold. That's, uh, that's not Lettuce, normal Lettuce, yeah. cucumber, sweet corn, yeah. grated cheese, no yeah. pickles. Um, I didn't get barbecue sauce. I got mayo. R mayo? Really? Well, I've got tuna mayo. No. No. Because it's already so mayo-y. If you get tuna from Subway, it's like Bum. really mayo-y tuna. Bum. I just didn't eat eat barbecue it. sauce and tuna. I know, no, it's not, it's not normal, but I'm not normal when I get... Like, they always look at me really weird when I order my Subway. Really? Especially when I get the tuna hot, they're like, you want the tuna warm? <laughs> Yeah, because they didn't even give me the option. No, no, no. So, so that's, that's what I've done. Thing. Yeah, and then they're putting tuna in the microwave. Like, what is going on? So will you take it to your hair point? Will you not eat that with the mayo on it? Uh, yeah, I might do. I'll look at it. See how mayo it is. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just thought tuna mayo. Mm. Your camera looks good, by the way. It is nice, isn't it? It's just so big. It's really big. Just the lens. It's just the lens. is yeah. Honestly, guys, it's huge. <laughs> but I've been getting a lot of compliments for like, the camera quality recently. So I'm like, do I just put up with the yeah. lens size? Molly helped me film and um, add, and I put together a video of her just abusing me to like... What are you doing? Don't be so Come on, quickly. What are you doing, Zoe? Just get a big... Put your fingers in it, get a big scoop. What are you doing? Do it here. <laughs> I don't have time. Sorry. <laughs> No, I'm staring the whole way through. The only reason why I was getting aggy is because you were in a rush and you well, just Well, I don't know, but also, <laughs> if, to me, that is just the most easy thing in the world. Show the texture of the product and you're like this. Yeah, but I've never had to show the texture of the product. It if shows I'm, like this. If I'm filming like an ad by myself, I can do it, but I just feel like we have different visions of what we, of what we want. I but why did you get me to help? Well, because I thought I was just... Oh, I don't know. I don't think you shout at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, what song should I put over the top? What's if, also, I'm not very good at like, knowing what's trendy songs. I know, I know you're not. You've right. got the right person. Na na na. What about. It's on my mind. This. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, your baby's asleep. Knew it. Yeah, that'll do. We'll see you go up. You know the time of your life, only when I'm not around. 
So Zoe thinks that I'm down in the dumps because of my new pill. Yeah, there's no other explanation for it. <laughs> what, could you just feel like I'm just well, down? <laughs> I, I think I've been overly lucky with the pill. So the pill that I've been on, I've been on since I was 16. That's 11 years, which is really scary. Like, I always think, what am I like off the pill? Am I like a whole new person? What if I'm really, nice. really nice? I know. <laughs> what if That'd be amazing. 11 years has made me a not nice person. Well, you were the same way before. I remember specifically, so. <laughs> yeah. I think give it a couple more weeks. See if you still feel miserable. Because literally 90% of people that go on the pill have to come off it because... It That's just so bad. And what's the point? Like, there's got to be another... I mean, literally, I said, obviously there's stuff that Tommy can do as well, but... No. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> it's not like peanut butter, but it's just a cookie. Oh my it? god! I thought it was like either my breath stank or my hoodie smelled stale. And no, it was. It's nutty, but it's that. Um... It's yeah. It's that. <laughs> I'm going on my first brand trip on Monday, so I've come round because you very, very kindly actually. This is the first time ever. No, you, she you, said I you can take what you want. No, I didn't say you could take what you want <laughs> whatsoever. I said we can go through and we can select some bits. And you don't know. Well, can you stop sniffing like that? You're already subconscious. I said you can select. No, I said we can select some bits together. Yeah. Any costumes you've got? Mm. I've got lots of them, but I'm also going away. I know, I know. So I'll just take, I'll take like your leftovers. Because <laughs> the leftovers will still be nice enough for me. Mm. I should have been hope so. This is how it's going. <laughs> this is how it's going. Um, this this dress isn't fitting on anybody. This fit me before I had Bambi. Well, it's not fitting me and I haven't had Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> I think that looks really nice. With what on my feet? Flats? Basically, guys, the, the brand's told Zoe to take flats. Now she's like, well, it has to be with flats. <laughs> I need flats. And I'm like, it's all right, Zoe. I think you can take a little, you know, a sandal with a heel on it if you, if you desire. There's nothing on there that I can give you. No Prada. <laughs> Put them back. She's doing well out of me, guys. I'm not being mean, don't worry. She's got a little oh, Prada bucket bag. Me. Is that a bucket bag? Bucket bag. Zoe's left and I've just got a meeting now with my accountant, like I said. Um, it's quite an exciting meeting actually. It's about something very, very, very secret. Um, it's exciting, it's really exciting. Um, okay, right, I think I'm just gonna join this Zoom call now. Hello. Hello. Hey, I've arrived. Peekaboo. Peekaboo, bam bam. Did you have nice sleeps? Did Bam Bam have nice sleeves? Hello everybody! <laughs> Look at my fluffy bed head! Look at my fluffy bed head. So she's just napped for 2 hours and 45 minutes. I mean it was broken. As you guys saw she woke up quite a lot. But you self-settled yourself back up. You're doing so good. So the whole thing with the self-settling thing, not that I like to talk too much about sleeping and babies, because last time I did that, as you guys know, I got in trouble. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're basically just trying to um, help her learn to self-settle so that if she wakes up in the night, she can get herself back to sleep, which you're doing so amazingly, um, because... I got into the habit, a little bit of a lazy habit a while back of um, running in with a dummy the minute that she woke up when actually she didn't need a dummy, I was just being lazy and I wasn't letting her learn how to, you know, just fall back asleep and it was like she was becoming reliant on the dummy to go back to sleep, which you didn't need because you're so clever. Not that it matters however your baby gets back off to sleep if they have a dummy, if they don't, if you go in, if you nurse them back to sleep, if you feed them back to sleep, like whatever works for you is however it works, you know what I mean? Like, Honestly guys, I wouldn't be surprised if this baby is walking before she's crawling. Like right now she's fully stood on her feet. She's absolutely obsessed with standing and she's really good at it. They're not even six months old. You're standing on your feet right now. You're so clever. You're so clever. Say hi everyone. <laughs> oh, I just love her so much. I love you more every single day and I don't even think it's possible to. Ah. I've got that much to sort before we go away tomorrow. It's actually giving me serious anxiety, I'll be honest. I've got to pack for her, pack for me. Probably help Tommy pack as well. I need to try and get to the tailors. Do Bambi's ears hang low? Do they walk?
bobble to and fro. Can she tie them in a knot? Can she tie them in a bow? Can she throw them over her shoulder like a continental soldier? Get Bambi's ears hang low. Do, do, do. Guys. Just a little bit of shampoo, yeah? Um, yeah, but shower gel. You can use the shower gel in her hair. I'll just use the shampoo. In her hair? Yeah. It's bath time. And we're doing like a whole bedtime routine at the minute where we do like a little story after bath. We do her bottle. We keep it nice and chill. I'll dim the lights a little bit just to sort of make her realise. I know I've missed massive chunks out of the day, by the way. Like, to you, the day would have probably seemed like three minutes long trust me it hasn't been this has been one of the longest days of my entire life literally every single nap bambi has had today i've literally been like did, 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 like just trying to get so many things done and i still haven't packed for our trip to ibiza yet for anyone in the household um so when she goes to sleep at seven i the list gets even longer of things to do like it's just been one of those days that it's just literally non-stop but absolutely nothing exciting happening yeah that's the one are you slippy and slidey? You've got to sing the duck song. And he waddled away. Waddle away. Hey, you got any grapes? And the guy behind the stand said no. And he waddled away. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Yeah, and a bit, um, we're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh uh. A snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no! We've got to go through it. Oh no! We're going on a bound. Yeah. Yeah. We're going on a bound. Out to the front door. Open the door. <laughs> Up the stairs. Oh no! We could. We forgot to shut the door. The what? dinner guys in case anyone was wondering i've actually just heated up a meal prep this is one of tommy's meal preps um but i'm sure he won't mind we're going away tomorrow so it's going to go to waste if i don't eat it um this is a butter chicken meal prep from gains health kitchen i've literally got my meal preps from there for as long as i can remember like literally years now we've used this meal prep company um they're the best i have never quite hit a wall like i have in the last half an hour that packing i've done it i've packed don't ask me how, it's literally taken the last, whatever I had left, I don't even know if you, I'd call it energy, whatever I had left in my body, it's taken it. It's taken the last bit of it, and now I feel like I'm literally in a dream. I feel like I'm in a terrible dream. <laughs> and I'm literally just reflecting on this vlog and how, like, it's been very real. Um, and I hate to be like, I'm just so real, like, I'm, so, I'm like, so, like, this is just reality, but, like, it's been real, like, you've literally seen the not-so-fine side of me today in terms of, like, I know I've been miserable, I know I've been, like, not bringing energy, I, I literally, I've been a little bit sad today, not sad, but, like, I don't know what the word is, and I, I definitely do think it's my hormones, I think my hormones are literally just like, woo, so please do bear with me, I am not going to carry this vlog on, I don't know if it's going to be the longest vlog ever, but I just feel like I've not done, like, a day with me in so long, I always, like, let it carry on and on and on, but I feel like, it's kind of good for you guys to see like a day, just one day with me in my life. Today has been a, I don't, have I left the house today? Yeah, I've left the house today to go and get my suit, well, my jumpsuit tailored. But apart from that, I literally haven't left the house, which hasn't really been that good for me to be fair, because I do, for my sanity and my mental health, I do normally need to like get out of the house at least like for a walk, go and grab a coffee, like whatever. I just have to like get some fresh air and that hasn't really been achieved today. I keep you guys updated with this pill and let you know why i end up doing my contraception and just a little psa to the girlies that are also like struggling to find a form of contraception that works for them like i've literally i'm 24 now and had a baby and i'm just like i'm yet to find what works for me but anyway 
I feel like we've really just like gone on a roller coaster through this vlog. But if you've made it to the end, then I love you millions. Thank you so much for sticking around. And I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye.